I can divide a four-digit number by a one-digit number. Remember that division is splitting a total into equal groups or equal sized groups. So for example, equal sized groups, you would think, I have a total of 20, and I want to put that into groups of four. Well, how many groups of four can I get out of 20? So you would kind of illustrate this. You have your total on top, you can make one group of four on the bottom, and then you kind of this question mark, how many groups of four can I make? A great way to think of this is repeated subtraction. If I take 20 and keep taking away four, 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 eight, 12, 16, 20. Okay, I've taken it all away, so 20 divided by four would equal five, or <clears throat> you could say 20 divided by five equals four. You have this whole fact family we'll go over in a minute. But you also have the other way of looking at it in terms of equal groups. You still have the same total of 20, but now look at the difference in my drawing. I have one, two, three, four equal groups already drawn out with a question mark. How many is in each group? Well, 20 divided by four, you can draw your four groups. So I'm gonna split it up and be like, okay, let's put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 20. One, two, three, four, five, one, zero, five, five. So there's five in each group, five, 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 10, 15, 20. So that's another way to look at it in terms of you're doing how many in each group or how many groups. And a lot of that depends on how the problem you're looking at is worded. What, what are you trying to solve? Um, your fact family for this would be 20 divided by 4 equals 5. That's really how I would solve both of these is 20 divided by 4 equals 5. But you could also do 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 5 times 4 and 4 times 5 are the multiplication facts, both of which equal 20 and make up our entire fact family related multiplication and division. And don't forget, division also relates closely to subtraction and repeated subtraction. Well, that's great, Mr. Donnelly, but how do I divide large numbers? Let's take a look at this problem here. Aubrey was putting her football cards into a binder. Each page could hold eight cards. She had 1,273 cards. Wow, that's a lot. How many pages will she need? So this is the diagram I draw. I have my total 1,273. I know that it's eight cards per page, but how many pages? So this is what I need to figure out. Is how many groups am I going to have? You would think about this as 1,273 divided by 8. And that's going to equal P, or it's going to equal the number of pages. Now when I'm doing this, it's called long division, and we're going to cover the standard algorithm here. You want to set it up with this little division bar, and you can do all your work right here. You're going to need a lot of space underneath, and you're going to need an eraser, a good eraser, because we're going to make mistakes and need to fix them. When you're doing this, you put your divisor underneath your total, and then your, or your dividend underneath. Oops, this is your dividend. <laughs> and then your divisor goes on the outside, and your quotient will end up on top. We need to remember this. Divide, multiply, subtract. Remember I mentioned all of those previously? Divisions are main operation. Multiplication relates directly to division. And subtraction, you repeatedly subtract. So we're gonna be doing all three of those. Then we're gonna also check our work and we're gonna have to bring down numbers. The easiest way to remember our standard algorithm is this. DMSCB. Well, that's hard to remember. Oh, you know what I do remember? Does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers? Does McDonald's or cheeseburgers? Does, divide, that's my first step. You're always just gonna start here, eight going into the highest place value. Eight can't divide into one, one's smaller than eight. So we're gonna keep going, we're gonna go up to the 12, eight divided into 12, it does go into there. It goes in at least once. Um, so I know it's gonna go in once. Let's see if that works. One times eight is eight. So I've divided, eight goes in one time. Now I multiply, one times eight is eight. Now I subtract 12 minus eight. 12 minus 8 is 4, and now I'm at check. Is 4 less than 8? The answer is yes, 4 is less than 8, so now I'm ready to bring down, and I bring down the 7. All right, so I see 47, and I know that 5 times 8 is 40, so I think 6 times 8. We'll try that. So I do 6 times 8. I figure that one out. I might have to draw an array. I would know that that is 48. Now I have the problem is I can't subtract. I've divided, I've multiplied, I can't subtract because 47 is smaller than 48. So I know that I have to decrease my division. So I erase, and we'll change this to a five. Five times eight is 40, 
Now I can subtract seven minus zero is seven, four minus four is zero. Now I can check seven is less than eight. Now I can bring down three. And my first thought was 73 is eight times nine is 72, I know that. So I'm gonna put the nine up here, nine times eight, 72. So I've divided, I've multiplied, eight goes into 73 nine times, nine times eight is 72. I now subtract, three minus two is one, seven minus seven is zero. There's nothing, I check, one is less than eight. I have nothing more to bring down, which means I'm done, but I have one left over, and that becomes our remainder. 159, remainder one. So I've solved the division problem, but you have to go back and think about what that word problem was asking. And don't forget, does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers is how you do the standard algorithm with long division. So we're going back to that problem where we had Aubrey and she was, oops, we had Aubrey and she was putting her football cards into binders, into pages in a binder. So she would need 159 full pages, because that was our quotient, but there would be one left over, and that would be one card. Let's hope that doesn't happen anymore. There'd be one card left over. She would actually need to buy 160 pages, because you don't want to just leave that card out. So you need another page to put that card into. So 159 remainder one actually would answer the question, would she need 160 pages to put all the football cards in the binder? I can divide a four digit number by a one digit number. Here's another word problem, worded a little bit differently. Jaden has 2,571 cookies he wants to put into four containers. If he puts them equally, he puts them in equally, how many cookies go in each container? So this is the one where it's how many in each group versus how many groups. We know there's going to be four groups. We know there's 2,571 total cookies. When you're solving this problem, remember, does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers? Divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down.